What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Poom Plot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 this time. Guys, of course, we're back here on Fenton Forest 4X by Stevie. How y'all doing? Welcome to the video. I appreciate y'all clicking on it. What is up? Welcome on in. Let me just back it up here. So a little bit, a little back up. Not really a lot, a little bit. I stream today. Obviously yesterday for you guys, Tuesday. I streamed this map or almost five hours and we actually got we got something done we, we got the sunflowers done sunflowers have been harvested okay totally done there and then i started on the potatoes and that's all we got or yeah potatoes and that's all we got done was uh that's actually about seven and a half outside rounds because i think i think they're supposed to go down this side here and didn't because i stopped them up here and then like a pass and a half on the inside of the field. And that's all I got done for some reason. Oh, and you notice I'm using tippers, lots of tippers. Well, for some reason, and I cannot get it working for the life of me, but, and I, and I remember having problems with this in the past. That's why I wasn't using them. Or I tried using them today. I tried using these ropas. Okay. I tried using these ropas. They just sit on course play. Um, like where this tractor or this Magnum and this JCBR, that was the end of my course I had set up today. And they would just go there and sit there and they wouldn't move like at all. Well, so I switched all to these wagons and these wagons basically did the same thing. Every once in a blue moon, they'll go and actually run to it. Now I'm hoping it gets better once I get past these outside rounds. Which at this point, I will have to set up the course for the field again because, of course, I, I'm i not saving that course because that would kill the computer when I actually hit save. It would probably crash my PC, to be honest, just hitting save on that, on that course. So I will have to remake it eventually. Uh, I think I'm going to do Thursday stream, same, same field, different day kind of thing. And yeah... So I'm not really going to work on this much in this video, but I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Having issues with, with course play, like them actually driving away from the end of their, their point. It doesn't matter like what's, what number I have this set at here, which actually this one was set really low from before when I was harvesting, I had a little better luck if I put it around 60, but it was still causing issues. So. I don't know what to think about it, to be completely honest. I don't want to use a straight up logger wagon because that's just weird. It doesn't look good. But if it works, I might just change to auger wagons, you know, and I really don't want to do that, but I definitely could. So we started out with those ropas and I had this mother bin sitting here and I was actually filling the mother bin from the ropas, which I know I just said I don't want to use an auger and then boom, there's an auger. But I was going to auger them the truck or mother bin then to the truck and then run them but when i switched over to these i was like okay well i'll put a bin right here and we'll just dump right into the bin which you know would make a lot of sense it will work which i know dumping potatoes into a bin like this is not the most ideal situation either then i came up with the idea i'm like well maybe it's too far because like you know we're running from all the way up north all the way down south maybe it's too far away so I put in another bin. I put in a second bin site down here. And uh, I was like, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Doesn't really help at all. Does not really help at all. So I've got some outside rounds done. I don't know how many potatoes I've actually harvested. But doing what I have done took about three hours. Um, yeah, if we were to harvest this field with one harvester and and it would not stop at all it would take like 17 hours or something so i don't i gotta harvest with multiple harvesters i might have to go find a mod see if there's a, a mod out there that'll help me you know like a higher capacity a higher capacity um harvester like a crazy stupid big one or I'm not sure, but I'm, I might have to go look in mods and see uh, what I can find. Anyway, 
A um, couple of questions from the last video. Comments, comments, questions. Um, Rob, like being a big guy, getting on like little tractors. That's like the best thing ever. All right. Like my John Deere 111, I have the farm. You could totally stand next to me and just sing fat guy on a little tractor if you wanted to, you know, like you totally could because it's the truth, <laughs> but it's funny. And well, I like that tractor. That's a good little tractor, you know, that is a good little tractor. Uh, and then um, rocks asked a couple actually left a comment about a potential video for the tubes would be go back and basically like clean up my old snow runner maps and and uh clean up snow runner and finish the logs i just think the logs are just gonna stay right where they're at which is not spawned on the map and that's that's okay so i don't i don't think i'm gonna mess with the logs cleaning up old maps that would actually be that could be something i could yeah, the amount of trailers that are on those old maps of mine, it's insane. It really, truly is insane. So I probably should do that. And then Rob's Rocks also asked, if I were to restart Grandpa's farm, what would be my tractor? So I have kind of two answers for this. One is, okay, do I get Grandpa's farm the way he had it in 1996 when he ended farming? And I get like his equipment. Okay, that's one. So if, if that were the case, could the main tractor, if I if I could time travel back to 1996, and boom, here John, here's the keys to the farm. Grandpa's retiring. Here you go. The tillage tractor, at the time, would have been his uh, Alice Chalmers uh, 8010. He had an 8010 with front wheel assist. He had duels he never really used them didn't didn't have the need for him because uh, he didn't have a like a big enough tillage to warrant bigger tire like running the duels because you know that was his big tractor that was the last thing he bought uh tractor wise and then for like spraying and planting and that kind of stuff he actually used the 995 that we have now and then for kind of like any other little chores, running an auger, moving a wagon, stuff like that, he actually ran, um, he ran, what did he run? Uh, Alice Chalmer, um, WD. He ran a WD for that. So that's one answer. Who, the second answer would be, if I had magically, I'm gonna sit here for a second while I think about this. If I magically got 180 acres, and a bunch of money, hey, go farm grandpa's farm again today, tomorrow, whatever, current day. I have no idea what I would go buy for a tractor, to be honest. I don't know. Um, I, I have no idea what I would actually go buy as like my tractor. So that's kind of an interesting question, though. I, I honestly don't know. Honestly don't know. All right, so... I don't know if that answers the question. I will think about that. Like, what would I actually go buy? Uh, uh, JZB Fast Track. I want to go fast. I don't know. So, today on the stream, I had to come to the homestead. I was actually showing... Uh, I was showing Superhero something today. What was it? Oh, it's the... Um, this this uh, sugarcane trailer. The manual dump sugarcane trailer. Superhero wasn't sure how to use it. But, because no, it's... You know, side dumper. That yeah, was actually smooth. Wow. Wow. Using the keyboard. That's why it's so smooth. Um, And we realized something today. That this homestead is incredibly laggy when you have course play running and, and all that. So, since I am basically down to my last harvest, my last field. And this is the special field. Of course, it's specialized equipment with the potato stuff. So... I am actually going to start selling equipment. This is the start of the end of the map. Got to get rid of equipment. You know, I should take it all back to the shop. Yes. Am I going to? No. I should empty my cedars. Yes. Am I going to? No. You know, like I said, I should take all this stuff back to the shop, but. Yeah, so this will help the map run a whole lot better. 
uh, by getting rid of some of the equipment. We're, we are going to keep all of our magnums and uh, 1050s because we're using them. I'm going to keep all the trucks for right now because, again, um, we can use those when we will be using trucks a lot. And obviously need to keep the sugar beet harvesters because, yeah. Okay, and then actually for right now, we're going to get rid of that guy too. I never did do my army with the uh, the sprayer drones, but I'm, I might have to work on that. Uh, we'll keep all the semi trailers and of course all these other trailers as well which actually there's a couple extra but don't worry about that sell all of our auger wagons which we may need eventually i don't know i i don't know i'm going i'm gonna try anything to get that harvest done harvest you know because i even said like okay if i got it working on stream today that i would leave the map on like say all night tonight and just let like one harvester run one harvester and like something to keep it empty but i couldn't get that to work reliable enough to to do that to be completely honest so i will not be leaving the uh the map on all night actually i might need that tanker oh well we'll get tanker back done with the brocks done with soil sampling of course done with snow blowing Put of our little sample tool uh, i don't really care to sell the buildings i'm not going to sell any of the buildings uh, at least not yet definitely not selling my christmas trees actually can we sell them back can we actually sell them i don't think we can we can 35 dollars. wow all right so that was uh eight and a half million dollars by the way that was eight and a half million dollars we can look at it in here as well come on auto save let's go so actually we're at nine million dollars for the day okay that's that's pretty good nine million dollars back in equipment so yeah it's just it's just time to to get rid of some stuff wait why isn't that on there Is that least oh i didn't realize the oh no i have i have sugar beets in one of those i don't know which one the cultivator least a snowblower least okay I didn't realize our uh, bins were leased. That's kind of weird. We should probably go empty that one bin. Now that I've sold the tractor that was hooked up to it, of course. Now, we've sold a lot of stuff. We still have a lot of stuff. There's still a lot of stuff, you know? All right. A lot of stuff still on the map, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sell this, and then I can get rid of both these bins. I probably will use bins eventually. Um, for selling because I can I can I can you know keep the truck rotation going I can um, how was the word here I could fill faster especially in that homestead storage that homestead storage is pretty slow really so actually that that would be the five head move by the way put one of these bins in the homestead right there and then just use mother bin slash auger wagons just to move everything from that bin over that would take forever <laughs> that would take forever probably not actually going to do that but when it's time to haul i could i, I could fill a lot faster because this bin fills way faster than the one that's sitting in the homestead of course so that would actually be kind of funny okay we can get rid of both of those bins now we don't need them and i am actually using that jcb over here on the on the harvest here i guess you know, let's let's set this up, guys. I'm gonna show you guys basically what I was doing on stream. So just in case, one of you guys like know something about this course play that I don't. Okay, we're gonna be working in this field here. We want to go around. We're gonna say seven times now because I I had it set to eight earlier, and I'm pretty sure I got almost eight passes around. We're done helps if i select the field huh okay we'll generate it's gonna take a second of course we're talking about a big field with lots of with like not what chatter with so you're you're working with header with whatever it's not much so it's got to draw a lot of, yeah as you can see a lot of lines there's a lot of lines 
And actually, I just want to show you guys this. Watch this. We're just going to tell them to go. 59,053 lines. 59, almost, almost 60,000 lines. Now, 59,000 and some change. That's crazy. Okay, I said 17 hours earlier. Sorry. 14 hours and 34 minutes if I were just to tell him to Bob's your uncle and if he would never stop. Okay. That's forever, right? All right. So actually, let's start this guy over here. And of course, I'm jumping ahead here because, you know, I can. I have the outside rounds done. I don't want to. I don't want to tell him to go do outside rounds again. It's already done, you know? That would be kind of silly. Okay. Like I said, this takes a minute. But the whole thing with course play when you're dealing with this many waypoints is it takes a minute. Like every part of it takes a minute. All right. So set up a waypoint or a course here now for this here. Uh, Trader. Trader? I said Trader. Tractor. Okay, so he's gonna be over there. He's gonna get full. He's at three percent now. So I have a minute. Just you know, short passes over there, right? All right. So this is gonna be set up just like a. It's got to be set up on the combine. Of course, belt to start. We're gonna drive straight on. I don't have a problem with this part of it. This part works. Driving to the bin, unloading at the bin works great. Never had an issue with it today. Okay, I don't need to slow down here, but I usually like to. And then we'll cut back into the field and we will stage in the field. I don't think it matters to be in the field, but we're going to go ahead and meet one more. Okay, stop. Now, since we got rid of our combines, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, some people say to, to have it set to go to one. I'm going to have it set to go to all of them. It, it, Six of one, half dozen the other kind of thing, I, I feel like. We're going to tell him to go from his first waypoint, which means he'll go around the course, which is fine and dandy. I think in the meantime, we're going to get another one going here just so I can show you guys, like, get him on some longer rounds to get him filling up a little bit faster. We're going to go ahead and copy because, like I said, I don't really want to hit the save button on that course for this big of a field, so we'll go ahead and copy. So now we have copied that course, of course, of course, of course. All right. So now we'll run this guy over here and just pick a random row. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You can see I have actually, yeah. So right here I have eight end rows done. And then I think on that side, there's only seven, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So we will tell him to go here and he will drive on maybe. Like I said, if you guys are seeing anything I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Even give me a timestamp, whatever. Just say, hey, no, you're doing this wrong or whatever. I'm open for criticism. Not criticism, but like, tell me how to fix it, you know? Okay, so this dude is set at 60%. So when they get to 60% full, he should be driving. 95%, he should be driving back. Okay, whatever. I usually would say 100%, but that'll work. So it's going to be a minute. Uh, just because these passes are kind of short and while well, I just started this guy. This guy's going to fill it faster just because he's on the longer pass here. So we'll just sit with this dude and uh, kind of watch, you know. And like I said, I struggled with this for hours today. It got to the point where, where I had like five tractors running on course play. And basically, I would drive them to the harvester, get them full of sugar beet or potatoes, I mean. I'd get them full of potatoes and then just tell them to go drive their course. So they would go and empty, which was a big help because, you know, I only had to drive them, say, half the time. It, does that make sense? Like, I only had to drive them to the harvester and they would drive themselves back from the harvester to the, to the empty, basically, uh, automatically. It was kind of nice, not going to lie. But I shouldn't have to do that. I should be able to harvest with horseplay. Maybe it's the harvesters. These are modded harvesters. Maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I'm not sure. They're Stevie mods, so they should be good. Our other option for harvesting would be the in game. 
Uh, the in game problem there is a 9,590 liter capacity. I just feel like it would be full every like three and a half seconds, you know? Which, you know, it does have a narrow working with, so. But at the same time, you're going slower and narrow working with, but if the thing actually empties it, then it might be worth it. That's the next step, I guess, I'll test on Thursday. So, yeah, because I'm running in-game tractors, in-game tippers, and just modded uh, modded harvesters. But I've never really had good luck with, uh, like, root crop. Root crop harvesting and course play. I've never really had good luck with it, to be honest. So, yeah. Okay, so we're at 56% right now. So at 60%, remember, 60%. He should be coming to us. So here in a second, he should be coming to us here once through. Yep. Okay, now we're moving. 57. Come on, buddy. Pick your speed up. All right. So here's 58. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I'm just telling you. All right. So there's 60%. And you can see our frame rate in the top right hasn't changed, which means he's not pathfinding, which means he's not going to move. So I'm, I'm happy at least I'm replicating um, the issues that I was having on stream. Because you, you guys all know this, or should know this at least. I feel like it's common knowledge. When the tipper, auger wagon, whatever, goes to pathfind from the end of the, the end of the course over there to the harvester, it lags hard. And it's not that it's running the PC hard. Even when it's lagging hard, the PC is not running any harder than it is right now. You know, it's, it doesn't crank up the PC and like use more. It just makes the game run hard. So you guys can see up there in, in the on a glance, I don't know if you can tell, but he's not moving. He's still not moving. Both harvesters. Well, okay. One harvester is over 60%. That's us at 84%, 85 now. The other harvester is at... 59 there's 60 percent, and he's still not pathfinding which i expect him to take a second or two okay that's fine which is why from harvesting uh sunflowers and canola and stuff i had it set down to 15 percent. when the combine gets to 15 percent, i wanted the tractor movement and that worked that worked quite well in the big field for the canola and I don't know if it, maybe it's just the harvester. I actually had not thought about that, to be completely honest, that it was the harvester. But the more I'm looking at this, I bet it's the harvester that is preventing it from moving. Okay, the guy's moving now. We're pathfinding. Okay, so let me show you what the other problem is here. So he waited till he got completely full and backed up. Which, I, I don't... I don't know, because see, like he could go to the other one. He could go to either one of these two right now, because they're both full. So unless there's a setting I'm missing, which is very possible. Very, very, very possible. But it's um, it's kind of interesting that it actually went to it, and it's just going. Maybe it's the unloading in the in the crop. But then again, he's also just driving through the crop right now. So I don't know that that's active right now, you know. That I'm not sure about. But here's the other issue. And and this is definitely an issue with uh, sugar beet and potato harvesting in general, I feel like, with course play. Is uh, there's no way he's going to make this turn. So he ends up doing that. Now, course play seems to work a whole lot better if everything is moving. You know, you guys all probably know that. I mean, any of you that use course play, you guys probably know. If everything's moving, it works better. But if I change that number down for like, hey, come to me faster, it doesn't matter. So it's just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. And then I definitely feel like if I go to the other harvester, it's not going to, the, the, they're not going to be able to keep up at all. But I am willing to try it. You know, that's the thing. I am willing to try it. 
So let's get it reset to the homestead at least. And uh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Not at all. Wrong button. So. Okay, I was like, where'd it go? I lost it. So now if we can set this up and this one works, then I guess we have to switch to this harvester. So there's probably just something I'm missing and it was a bit of a struggle bus. Cause you know, I should be able to harvest potatoes and sugar beets with horseplay. I really should. And I feel like it, it should work. And it's, uh, you know, that other harvesters full, of course I, I took the wagon or the, the tipper off of horseplay now. So the other guy's not going to get emptied, of course, but that's okay. But we'll run this guy out here. And actually, just for uh, time's sake of actually, like, um, generating a course with this guy. Because keep in mind, oh, that's not what I wanted to push. No, 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 don't try to drive from here. You're going to end up in the, in the drink. Um, but if I were to actually make a course with this guy right now, it would take forever. Simply because he's even, na he's skinnier, narrower. Not as wide as the other harvester, so it would take forever. So let's not do that. But right now, we'll just run them on the other, um, the other course. You know, I think that's the strategy. All right, fun. All right, unfold. Man. Another outside fire threatening the building. I don't, I mean, I know what's going on. It's like dry, dry here right now. And it's kind of like, it's just dry and like, uh, not humid. Just start from here, buddy. I don't care where you go to be honest, but it's like stuff's not greened up here yet. And it's dry and our humidity has been kind of low. Although right now I'm feeling a lot of humidity. Kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, there's been a ton of outside fires lately. Okay, so now we're going to change this up a little bit. Okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to say, do not go to these other harvesters. Only go to the new one. Drive your course. Okay, we're actually going to shut these other ones down because there's no point in filling them up. I can't empty them. I can't empty them. What's the point, you know? All right. Okay, back it up. Just a smidge. All right. What is he doing actually? Oh, buddy, buddy, that's not. Oh, you actually are on a pass. Okay. I thought he was on an outside round, and I was like, no, I don't want you to do that. But... Turn him around. Not afraid of making a mess of this field, by the way. In case you can't tell. The 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 end all be all option for this field, Sean Sinclair was very adamant today. Um it's called a plow. That is probably the best option for this field. I don't know why in Tarnation I ever agreed to plant such a big field in potatoes or why I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I must've been half asleep or something, uh, that night when I decided to do that or must've been a farm day or something. And I was tired. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. So we are filling up rapidly, not as fast as I thought we would, honestly, but about 50% now. That's not bad. And actually is he, what's he doing? Oh, he's not driving to me. Okay. He's finishing out his waypoint or his course. Okay. So he's empty right now. He's looking for uh, something that's full, something that needs him. He's looking, you know, looking, he's looking, he's thinking about it, contemplating his life. He's set to go to that harvester. I don't need to worry about that. 
But he's 77% full. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's not moving up there yet. There's got to be... I. The only thing I can figure is there's got to be a setting on the... The tractor course is what I'm thinking it is. It might be the unloading in the crop thing. I guess maybe I need to change that. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we're still not going. We're still not driving up there. We're not even thinking about pathfinding. <laughs> and it shouldn't be a distance thing. Because if you think about it, when I harvest this giant field, I usually put my auger wagons or my, my offload at uh, just underneath field two here. And they'll hit way over here. So that's a whole lot farther away. Okay, now he's coming to him. I just don't get the delay. You know, and, li and like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what I change this number to. I can turn this down. It'd be like, hey, when he's at 10% drive. We'll see if that works, actually. Curious if that one works. Now, why isn't he going fast enough? You know, all his speeds are set up. Drive fast. Drive faster. Uh, I love course play, but I'm just, I'm having some issues. So basically, if you guys know what's wrong here, what's going on, you guys have probably already left a comment. And I will, of course, be diving into the comment section. Actually, I'm going to dive into the comment section of this video before I stream this map on Thursday at noon. So this comes out Wednesday, so that'll give you guys a day, a full day, full 24, to uh, if you guys have any comments or, or thoughts. You know, the the other thought on stream today was divide the field back in half. Maybe it's too far away. I don't think it's a distance thing. Obviously, a, a distance thing is just the drive time because the drive time is so great to go from all the way up there to all the way down here, which is why I was thinking, okay, let's have a north group and a south group and we'll assign them to run to any harvester but instead of running to any harvester they just didn't want to run to hardly any harvester so that was kind of unfortunate to be completely honest i guess if it is a unloading in the crop thing which that would be on the the tractor i could either change that or i could run multi-tool and just run like end rows all the way around the field and keep running end rows. I guess that could be an option as well. So it just runs circles basically. That could be an option. There's no way he makes this turn. Yeah, especially because he just let off. He just let off his turn. But see, that's just kind of junk, you know. But there again, if I can get to the point where the harvester never stops, then everything works better. Everything works better if the harvester keeps moving. That's honestly like the truth, you know? That really is the truth. Everything works better if the harvester never stops. So actually, let's... Uh... Oh, but I don't know. That's not really in here, is it? I don't know where that setting is actually at. Is that setting on the... I don't know what setting that is. For the... Might be in here. Oh, goodness. There's too many settings to look at in here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know where it's at. But the setting to, like, unload in the... In the crop or not. Okay, so now we've uh, started a little tiny course here. Which, the course, I don't think it's the course, this course per se. I mean, obviously, this is weird here. But I don't think it's that. That's our problem, you know? Okay, so remember, I've changed his number down to 10%. So he should hit the end and then go. Like, he should already be going. And that actually is going to work now. Maybe it's the harvester has a lot to do with it, huh? <laughs> 
Maybe the harvester has something to do with it. Because that number, I, I had that number anywhere from 15 to 60% on the other uh, harvesters, and it didn't seem to matter. Now, I'm only running one instead of running four right now, obviously. I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. But this is actually kind of working right now. Okay, he needs a little more offset, though. He's a little, uh, where's that at? I always, always forget where that's at. Um, you need a little more, bud. A lot more. One meter? Nah, that's too much. 0.9. One meter. One's good. So, I mean... <sighs> If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do to get the field done. But like that, he is empty. And remember, 10%. 10%. Okay, so 10% is pretty low, but it's proving the point that this is actually working. It is proving the point that this is actually working. Which really 10% is not that low if you actually have to go empty and then to drive back. Holy Hannah Montana, it's for, you know, it's forever. But 10% is a little like helicopter parenty for me, you know? Okay, so, so that's working. I'm, I'm interested to try something now. I'm very interested here. Okay, so we take the combine off of that. Okay, we're going to pick one of these up here in field 20 i don't know which one it is which one of these two it actually is but they're both on course play so not a big deal okay so we're just gonna hit start stop first waypoint remember we're set at 10 percent again okay so now we'll come to here and uh fire them back up because, like I said, I don't know which one it is. It's, it's selected to go to one of these. I just don't know which one. Because they're both in field 20 and they're both identical. So it's hard to tell. Uh, hard to tell which one it actually is, you know? Well, if it's this guy, we're in trouble. Because he's 99%. Uh, so, yeah. The theory here I'm working with is, like, will it actually empty? Will it actually go to it or not? So, I may have to go empty it, of course. Because if it works to first to have it set on one, I guess I didn't try that today. I only have it set for one of the guys, not both. And see what's hey, okay. I was just about to say, see, it's not going, but it actually is, and it is set to go to the full guy over there. Okay, so that's actually fine. Now that I know that, let's cancel this out. He's still going to hold his setting here. Now I. And you guys can probably tell this. I'm not a course play expert. Never turn never never uh said that I was, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a waypoint way over there and just have him run to this guy. And see if like the distance is the issue. Something's the issue, we just gotta narrow it down, you know? Is it having it set to go to multiple harvesters? That could be the issue as well. That honestly could be the issue here. Let's get him empty as much as possible. Not actually going to empty him out, of course, but hey, it's worth a shot. Come here, buddy. And actually, we need to uh, get rid of that offset as well. I actually wouldn't mind a little offset to the to the left, as they run they run close to this uh, this here harvester. You see, so. But you have to be close, and that's, that's that provides a whole another set of issues is running too close to these harvesters. You know, it's just a, it's a whole nightmare. But I will say combining is so much easier with like a real combine. It's so much easier. It's just, it's just so much easier. So yeah. It me full, you get empty enough, empty enough, bud. All right. Maybe it's the multiple. I, cause I, you know what? I don't think I ever tried today on stream having them set as 
going to one harvester. I think I had them set to two. And that didn't work at all. Maybe if I have them set to one, it'll work. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But even then, it's like, it's going to be such a nightmare just to keep up. As you can see, like, even if I was empty and, you know, I could go find a modded, uh, like a modded trailer that would hold more. And I, I might have to, you know, find some kind of big modded trailer that holds, you know, a lot. That could be an option. Even use that semi trailer. <laughs> that could be an option. Board. Remember, we don't have to stop here. But usually I like to stop. We're still set to go to that one. We're going to go from our first waypoint so he can empty. Let's actually turn some of this other stuff off because it's bothering me. Just to see it sitting there on course play. Okay. Yep, and we know you're full again, buddy. We know. You're full. Again. <laughs> and I know this video is running long as well. I'm, I do know that. But I'm trying to figure this out. Might as well bring you guys along for the journey. For the light bulb moment. Because you've probably already left your comments saying what I'm doing wrong. But of course it's not live. So. There's that. Because <laughs> the only way I'm going to get this harvest done is course play. That is, that is the only way. That or I go find a modded harvester that holds like 10 million. But even then, that's just going to be a nightmare. Just a nightmare. This trailer takes forever at the uh, dump site too. I don't, I went with this trailer because it was the biggest one kind of in this style. That's why, that's why I have it. Probably should have something else, but that's okay. All right. So we're above our 15% or 10% or whatever we're set at, obviously. And maybe this just takes a long time and it's just like, I'm impatient. But you know, buddy's at 90% right now. So to me, this tractor, you're like, hit her to patter, bud, you know? Hit her to patter. Let's go. What are we doing? Lock it in. Like, come on. It just kind of kills me, you know? And he's not, his, his thing's not over the crop right now. Cause it's hanging out over nothing. We're at 99%. And our tractor is not coming to us. So maybe it is the harvester. You know, it's, it is a possibility. It's a good possibility actually. And if that is the possibility, then I guess we'll have to break out a fleet of the in game ones. Maybe set them to like set our zippers at like 50% or so, so they can get to them and uh run them and uh, i think i'll probably end up doing that thursday i just don't see uh yeah wait it said we were 100 percent before we were 100 percent. that's kind of funny i just don't see this method working because obviously it's uh it's not you know <laughs> it's not working so he has requested the driver here comes the driver now. So maybe there's a setting about the unload over the crop or something. That's the only thing I can figure. And I think that's when you set up the course for the field. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to change that now, which would make sense why the tipper's waiting until he gets backed out like that. But to me, the tipper actually should have been coming when we were facing the other way still, because we were over our 10%. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video because uh, I'm just talking to talk at this point and the video's getting late it's getting late i got a big day tomorrow big day on wednesday big day stuff happening for the farm and just doing stuff for my dad's work and all kinds of stuff and and then it's gonna rain for like the rest of the month so it's great anyway it'll rain for a couple days anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will try to figure this out more on thursday at noon please leave comments and help me in the uh, comment section below i would appreciate it and uh thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and as always uh toodles